Oh, Rose, they're here. Hey, guys. Who are you talking to? What? You really can't see them? See who? Well, CBS asked us to do their fall 2022 preview, and that is the at-home viewing audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about you, buddy. What? This is so funny. On the TV show, you can see ghosts and I can't, but here in real life, I can see the audience at home and you can't. So I guess the tables have turned. <laughs> Come on over here. I want you to meet Roman, Devin, and Danielle. Is it kosher, right? Yeah, I think the dude's losing it. Yeah, 22 episodes. We'll do that to you. Well, let us know if you want to run lines uh, before we start filming. Oh, Roman, I know my line. Anyway, come on over here. Look who we have. Asher Grodman and Richie Moriarty. Hey, do you understand this joke about Alf? The writers give me these weird references. Oh, yeah, you're too young to get it. Uh, it's this classic late 80s TV show about an alien who eats cats. Why? Because it's hilarious. Yeah, it is. Oh, guys, come on with me. Let's go into the kitchen and see who we have in here. Oh, boy. It's Rebecca, Brandon, and Sheila. Who's he talking to? I, uh, he says he can see somebody at home. Oh, as long as he doesn't start freestyling, which should be funny. <laughs> Certain words rhyme. We get it. We really do. All right, our tour is over. But just remember, this season, we're on a new time slot, everybody. Wait, what new time slot? Oh, we're on after young Sheldon. Oh, right on. And who's Sheldon? Is he Sheldon? Ah, some of us are more method than others. Anyway, we just want to thank all you guys for making Ghost the number one new comedy on TV. Yeah, we, we love making this show for you, and we can't wait for you to see what we're cooking up in season two. Yeah, wait, what are you doing? You can't even see them. I got jealous. <laughs> well, now you know how I feel. Ladies and geniuses, ghosts and neighbors, grab your pumpkin spice, your cozy sweaters, and your love for fall TV. Yeah! Because it's time for the CBS Fall Preview. Tonight, fall officially starts with an exciting look at our returning CBS original series. And just for you at home, a sneak peek at the new shows coming to CBS this season. First, we'll visit Drew Barrymore and Ross Matthews on the set of The Drew Barrymore Show to preview the new and returning CBS dramas. Then we'll join Cedric the Entertainer, Max Greenfield, and the cast of The Neighborhood as they lead us on a comic tour of their set. Then young Sheldon's Ian Armitage takes us for a walkthrough of our comedy lineup. Later, Jerry O'Connell and Rebecca Romaine set sail and give us the juicy details of The Real Love Boat, CBS's newest reality show. You'll also get a personal look at the 50th anniversary of The Young and the Restless with host Joshua Morrow. From CBS Monday through CBS Sunday, our new fall schedule will keep you laughing with great comedies, give you a place to escape with our Wednesday night reality lineup, and no matter if you love the FBI's, CSI, or NCIS, this fall we've got you covered with the best dramas on TV. So grab a seat and get comfortable. All of this and more on tonight's CBS Fall Preview. Up next, Drew Barrymore takes a special look at the new shows coming to CBS this fall. of Drew's News right now. Are you ready for some drama, honey? Yes. No, no, well, not that messy celebrity drama. We mean CBS drama. That's what we want to talk about. That's right. To celebrate the fall preview, I prepared a speed round of CBS drama trivia. Are you guys ready? Oh, I'm ready. Bring it on. Okay. Bring on the justice. Bring on the mystery. Bring on the LL Cool J. Am I right? I'm ready. Come on. All right, everybody. In the season two finale of The Equalizer, who gets kidnapped? Oh, please. Okay, that is easy. Undercover vigilante Robin McCall, <laughs> a.k.a. Queen Latifah. You know that. I know that. I love Queen Latifah so much. Ditto. Oh, my God, I love her. Okay, in the season 19 finale of NCIS. Jeez, season 19? Holy cow. That show has been on for 19 seasons? Amazing. Good for them. All right, in the season finale, who gets framed for murder? Oh, come on, Drew. Agent Parker gets framed. We know that. And the whole team put their job and their lives on the line to uncover the truth. And I'm so excited because season 20 kicks off with a two-hour crossover event with NCIS Hawaii. Oh, God, I love that for them. Okay, an FBI most wanted. The team chases an oligarch in which city? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Are there plots on that show? Because I tune in strictly for Dylan McDermott. Sorry. <laughs> 
by the way, that tracks. <laughs> and finally, in Blue Bloods, who do Danny and Jamie join forces with to solve an investigation? Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, ready? Danny and Jamie join forces with their nephew, Joe Hill, a long lost member of the Reagan family, and no one, not even Frank, knew he existed. It is scandal, it is drama, and they have Donnie Wahlberg. What do I win? I'm impressed with all your knowledge, Rossi. Thank you so much, Drew. But I said, what do I win? <laughs> well, you know that I love to give back, so I do have a first look to share the three new dramas coming to CBS this fall. Buckle up. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay. In the new police drama, East New York, we see actor Jimmy Smith step back into uniform to play chief of the 74th Precinct. Welcome to East New York. His newly promoted deputy inspector has a vision that she and her squad will not only serve their community, but also become a part of it. She just has to get the squad on board with her plan first. I got your back. Hmm, sounds really juicy. Mm hmm Okay, this one sounds really cool. So help me Todd. We meet Todd, a private detective whose life is, well, shall we say a little directionless. You're in jail. How'd you get in here? You have a good lawyer. Enter his uber successful lawyer mom, played by Academy Award winner, the incredible Marsha Gay Harden. Upset. I know. Who offers him a job as an in-house investigator at her firm as a way for him to get his act together. Mom, I know who's the murderer. And then finally, in Fire Country, bad choices don't make a bad man. He should talk to his therapist about that. But that is what 30-something Bodie Donovan's been told. Midway through a five-year prison stretch, he signs on to an unconventional prison release program, pairing convicts with firefighters to battle wildfires in exchange for reduced sentences. Water drop! It's a high-risk assignment compounded by returning Bodie to the hometown hotspot where all of his troubles began. I'm here to save as many lives as possible. God, those so, so good, don't they? Beyond good. Look, girl, I already got my popcorn ready to watch, so bring on the drama. Oh, and don't forget, you can catch Drew and I weekdays right here on The Drew Barrymore Show. Hey. Hey. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Cedric the Entertainer, here on the set of our hit CBS comedy, The Neighborhood. Would you like to take a tour of our set? Of course you would. Come on. This is the Butler living room. Oh, and look who I found. It's my co-star and TV wife, Tashina Arnold. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Ooh, I already did that. Oh. So, uh, what are you up to? Oh, well, I was about to leave and then remembered we're doing a promo for an exciting new season of CBS Comedies. Yes, we are. And I was showing them the set, oh. walking them around. Guys, this is our front door. This is the front door. This is our front door. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Beth Bears. I didn't see you there. Did that? Yeah, after I did it. Will somebody please tell Max not to say it? Oh, well, where is Max? Oh, I think I know. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. What's wrong, Max? Well, I'm not participating. You know, when we did the fall preview last season, they made me sing. Oh, look, I promise you, you won't have to sing this yeah, well, year. Well, that's what they said last year, and then I got to set, and I done none of my vocal exercises, and the next thing you know, I'm singing. <laughs> you are great. Don't. Trust me, there's no singing this year. I know, because I asked to sing, and they said, not after last year. So thanks, Max. Well, if that's the case, then... Hi. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Here's a first look at our CBS comedies returning this fall. Hey, no, you know, I was supposed to say that. Nailed it. D Max? Oh, hey. Ian Armitage from Young Sheldon here. How fun was it seeing the Butlers and Johnsons? I'm thinking that neighborhood barbecues with those guys are the stuff of legend. Fun fact, did you know that Marty Butler is an engineer at JPL? I feel like he and my character Sheldon would be great friends, bonding over all things science-y that our families just don't understand. You know, this ancestry stuff, this isn't science. It's voodoo. <laughs> There's nothing more sciencier than DNA. More sciencier. Mm -hmm. Go get your diploma. They owe me a refund.
The Neighborhood kicks off the comedy on Mondays, and then you know who I heart? Bob and Abishola in Bob Hearts Abishola. Talk about truth in advertising. Seem like they couldn't be more different, but together? Mwah! Chef's kiss. They're the love story I'm here for. Like Lennon and McCartney, Hall and Oates, Wheeler and... How do you say your last name? Oh, now you wanna. Yeah, that! <laughs> then it's on to Thursdays for Hey, a show I know a little something about, Young Sheldon. This season, there's a lot, like a lot, a lot happening in our family. Want a quick peek? What is happening to our family? I know, Georgie and Mimo in jail. You see what I see? An open window. You want to make a run for it? You got a better plan? Are you shutting up? Mom getting kicked out of the church. Are you testing me? I know that that might sound a little ungrateful. Let's uh, load my new dishwasher that I love. But can't you pick on someone else for a while? Georgie having a baby out of wedlock? Were you scared if mom got pregnant with me? I was terrified. Does it ever stop being scary? There's fun parts. Like what? We went to the beach once. That wasn't bad. He's Pretty well. Maybe she'll feel guilty and marry Georgie. No. And please let my dad find a full-time job before we lose cable. Hey, man. You know what this means, don't you? What? You really are a white trash. Speak for yourself. I'm in college on a full ride. And then, welcome to Woodstone. It's the return of last season's new hit, Ghosts. Fun fact, Isaac the Ghost is rumored to have known Alexander Hamilton, and I just may have seen Hamilton on Broadway 12 times. So aside from the fact that Ghosts follows young Sheldon this year, we clearly have centuries-old connections. Welcome to the Woodstone B&B. Gosh, this oh. is beautiful. It's like I've died and gone to heaven. Oh, if only it were that simple. As you all know, our first guests will be arriving at any moment. We need everyone on their best behavior. When I die in the name of oh, it's on! Oh, Why are we even opening this B&B? To earn money so we can eat. Oh, someone can consume food. Must be nice. Going up to the spirit in the sky. I love it. I'm talking about yes. I say smart things, but people can't get past the fact that I'm not wearing pants. You are like Odin, wisest god. If Odin's butt cheeks are always visible every time he bend over. Okay, I'm out. You keep using these ghosts behind my back. It's so creepy. Hurtful. Not to mention totally unethical. Everything okay with the room? Could not be better. Yes. Lies. He said he'd rather sleep on his boat tarp, Sam. I slept on a boat tarp once with several members of Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Sort of a friend zone. Friend zone, friend zone, friend zone. Is he... Asleep? Yeah. The floor is pretty uneven, so we tend to sleep standing up. Like livestock. It's like each word is sadder than the last. In my day, the washer never made a peep. In fact, I'm not sure I ever heard Helen say anything at all. We've all been here a thousand years. How about those 90s? <laughs> yes. Probably best 90s since 11, 90s, though. 14, 90s, what? Pretty wild. Oh, my God. Jay! <gasps> oh, great gasp, everyone. Bravo. <laughs> what a time to be alive. I mean, you know what I mean. CBS family. Welcome aboard one of the many amazing Princess Cruise ships. Come aboard. We're expecting you. Couldn't resist. Already, Jerry? Flyboat. <laughs> Soon we'll be making another ride. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. Now let's get to the good stuff. We are so happy you stopped by. We cannot wait to tell you about our new CBS original show, The Real Love Boat. And while we might be here to keep things going as your co-hosts each week, the singles will be joined by our ship's delightful crew, Captain Paolo. An actual ship captain. Cruise director, Matt. An actual cruise director. And Ezra, the bartender. An actual bartender. <laughs> she never made me a single drink, Jerry. Made me, made me a lot. Oh. Captain Paolo. Yeah. Matt and Ezra are not only here keeping the boat afloat, but are also working behind the scenes to find ways to spark love between our singles on the ship. 
Every week, the couples will compete in challenges to test their compatibility. One lucky couple will win a seat at the captain's table and get the option to extend their date with a key to the love boat suite, which, if I can just say, is the sweetest suite of all the suites. Isn't that right, sweetie? That's right, sweetie. <laughs> Now, while luck shines on some each week, there's also some that are not so lucky and could see their adventure end and be left at that week's port. Yeah, I mean, literally, it's a ceremony where we wave goodbye to them, and it's called the sail away ceremony. Jerry and I will take you to some of the most beautiful places in the Mediterranean as we work to help singles who have either once found love and lost it or are finally making romance a top priority. This show is truly about connection. And we know about this stuff, people. It's our thing. We're connected. Yeah. So join us October 5th for the premiere of The Real Love Boat. Here's a look at what to expect Wednesday nights this fall on CBS. Jerry, I assume you want to sing us out? No, I'm, I'm okay. Just, uh, <laughs> it's love. <laughs> Welcome aboard, it's love. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real competition. You are going to a country that we have never been to before. Shall we get into it? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. I'm just so excited to be here. Is this real life? Here we come. There's no other experience like it. Yeah, it's about to go now. Oh, a dream come true. <laughs> I'm not going to sit around and wait for other people to determine my game. I'm going to play as hard and as fast as I can, just like I do my life. I really need a million bucks. It's gonna be <laughs> well, let's go! Join us for the romantic adventure of a lifetime. There are no second chances on this race. Hey, what's up? Joshua Morrow from The Young and the Restless. Listen, YNR is turning 50. That's right, 50 years on CBS. It's kind of a big deal. Whoa, 50 years, I'll be damned. I need to thank all of you for inviting us into your homes every day. That is so much appreciated, I can't begin to tell you. And we have a great season ahead, so keep Ooh, yeah. watching. We're also known for our hot love stories, and believe me, don't I know it. Let's check out these two. Oh, hey there, CBS. Welcome okay. to The Young and the... Over the years, YNR has had its share of epic rivalries. Speaking of which, let's check out Michelle and Susan doing their thing. What? I love you, Susan. Oh, I love oh. you, Michelle. Well, we can't cruise through Genoa City without stopping in the world-famous Abbott living room. And look who happens to be here, shockingly, in front of a mirror, Peter Bergman. Oh, hi! And a true soap unicorn, Beth Maitland. Hi, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Abbott Mansion, and welcome to Genoa City. We look forward to celebrating the entire season with you. Stay tuned. Very excited to show you everything that's going on in our daytime and late-night CBS originals. You've got to check it out. Knock, knock, knock. Here we go. Let's do this. This is the biggest show ever. Sounds fun. Ah! You and me. You know we make some real good company. OK, guys, this is it. It's you. I love you. You know we make some real good company. We're trying to do things bigger, better. We're giving away more money. I love this. We know that sex sells. This just got real. I have never been camping in my life. It's wild out oh, here. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? This is the happiest place on earth. Come on. Like I'm brand new. It's fun having everybody together. I love you all. Welcome to Hollywood. Yes. Buckle up. It's just getting started. That one hit a sweet spot. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know what? Montage! Montage. Who wants to make a deal? You Go get him. I'm saying you yeah. and me. You know we make some real good company. Would they blur her hands?
hands if she said bad words with her hands? <laughs> you! Stay tuned. Exactly. That's our show. Thank you for watching this year's CBS Fall Preview. Now grab your cozy sweaters, your crisp apple cider, and settle in for some great TV. Because fall is coming on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.